Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install the WooCommerce shipment tracking plugin. This plugin is available on the WooCommerce official website. And this is not a free plugin. This is a paid plugin. You can see the pricing of this plugin is $59 per year. This plugin will let you add the shipment tracking information to your orders. And currently this plugin is supporting these shipping providers. You can see the list of shipping providers. I'll give you the link of this plugin in the description box. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to install and use the free WooCommerce shipment tracking plugin. That was the YITH WooCommerce order and shipment plugin. This plugin has the free version. And in this video, I have shown you how to install this free version as well as the pro version. Pricing of this plugin is $65.99 per year. And this plugin supports around 480 shipping service providers. So if you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch both the videos and then you can compare which plugin will be useful for your WooCommerce website. So let's go back to the website. Here I'm logged into the dashboard of the website and I'm going to install the plugin. Let's go to plugins and click on add new. I already have downloaded this plugin, so I'm going to install this plugin now. Click on upload plugin and browse the WooCommerce shipment tracking plugin. Click on install now. Click on activate plugin. All right, so the plugin is activated. There are no specific settings for this plugin. You can go to WooCommerce and go to orders. Now you can go to the order for which you want to add the shipment tracking. So let's see, I have this order. I'm going to this order now. And in the right hand side at the top, you will see shipment tracking. You can add the tracking number, click on it. And you will see different service providers here. For Australia, you will see Australia Post, Fastway Courier. You will see different providers according to the country. If I go to India, for India, it is showing DTDC. If I go down to United States, you will see the number of service providers for the United States, DHL, FedEx, FedEx, OnTrack, UPS. So let's say I want to add the DHL. So I'm going to select DHL US service provider. So this is the shipping company who has picked up this item and this company is going to deliver the product to the customers so i'm going to add the shipment tracking for this particular order so here you can add the tracking number so let's consider i'm going to add some dummy tracking number here and this is the date shipped so if you want to change it you can change it from here so it is going to show today's date and i can click on save tracking all right so i have added the shipment tracking for this particular order if you want to add more tracking numbers you can click on it again so you can add another tracking number here. Now this is on the admin side. Now I'm going to log into the same website as a customer who has placed this order. So let's go to the website and here I'm logged in as a customer and I'm on the my account page. So I'm going to refresh it and I'll go to orders. So these are the orders. If I click on the order here and if I scroll down, you will see the tracking information. So for the customer, the tracking information will be added in the My Account page and the tracking information will also be sent to the customer via email. Let me show you this kind of email will be sent to the customer. So you can see the tracking information will be added in the email also. So let's go back and here you will see the DHL US that service provider that I have selected. If they want to track it, they can click on track and it will go to the DHL website along with the shipment tracking number and it will show the status of their shipment. Let's close it. Let's go back to the order and let's delete this one. Let's consider that your shipment service provider is not in the list. So in that case, you can select custom provider and let's add the name of the provider that will be, let's say, ABC shipping. So this is the shipping service provider. This is the shipping company who is going to deliver the product. And I'm going to add the shipment tracking number. So this is the number and you can add their website link. Let's consider, let's say this is the website link of that particular shipping service provider. And click on save tracking. 
so we have added the shipment tracking for this particular order let's go back to the account and let's refresh it and here you will see the updated tracking information for this particular order so if they want to track it they can click on track and it will go to that particular service providers website so there are no other settings for this particular shipment tracking plugin however if you want more customization you can definitely look for this plugin yith woocommerce order and shipment tracking this plugin has many different features such as it will support 480 plus shipping services across the globe it can insert the tracking data in the order it can send the customized email they can simply hover the mouse over the track and it will show the status also you can see here in the screenshot if you want more information about this plugin you can definitely watch this video i'll give you the link in the description box and you can compare both the plugins so this is how you can use the shipment tracking plugin in any woocommerce website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.